Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how to fix a Delta Force connection timed out error. So it's really easy and simple. So let's actually get started, guys. So first things first, what you want to be doing is check the server status. So you can come here and just search on your browser on Google Delta Force server status. And so since this game was only released five days ago, today's the 10th of December and it was released on the 5th of december so five days ago it was released and you can see the servers are currently online and you can see these in multiple websites but of course you can also check on twitter as well so after you've done that guys another thing you can do is just restart your game and pc so you know a simple restart sometimes can help you fix a minor ongoing bugs and glitches so when you encounter this problem just simply close the game and restart your PC and launch the game again. You can try this at least three times be before moving on to another option. And what you can also do is right click on your Windows icon, go to Task Manager. Okay. From here, guys, what you can do is you can, of course, end task right here and force close, you know, Steam or, you know, your game as well. If your Delta Force game is already open as well, you can force close those and restart it again. Another thing, guys, you can do is check your internet connection, okay? If you're having problems, uh, you know, you can just make sure you have a fast and stable connection, right? So if you're having issues with your Wi-Fi, you can start restarting it, or you want to switch to a different Wi-Fi, and if possible, guys, then connect to a mobile hotspot and just log in to begin the game. Another thing, guys, you can do, of course, is you can go ahead and change your DNS server. So what you want to do in the Windows search, you want to type uh, control panel, okay? Type control panel, and I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to show you. So open up control panel, and then what you want to do, guys, is you want to look for the network and internet option, okay? Click on this, and then from right here, guys, what you can do is you can click on the network and sharing center, okay? Now from here, guys, I want you to choose, click on connections right here. So under connections, you can click on this here. And once you click on it, guys, you can come ahead and change your, you know, uh, server addresses. You can change your DNS. So you can come ahead and change your DNS. You can go to properties and change that. It's really easy and simple. Of course, what you can also do is you can verify the integrity of the game files. Open up your Steam. Come here and click on Steam. Click on settings. And then under storage, you want to click on these three dots right here. Click on repair library. Okay, and basically you will repair the game. If there's any issues, it will repair the game. And then what you're gonna basically do is just close Steam, restart your PC, and try launching it again. And that should actually work, okay? And another thing, guys, another fix you can do is you can allow Delta Force on, you know, through your firewall or antivirus. So in the Windows search, I want you to type Windows security okay search for windows security and open this up or you can come here and choose firewall and network protection just choose that option right here and what you want to do guys once this loads up i'm going to show you so you want to click on allow an app through the firewall so click on this and let the options load up okay right here i want you to enable of course we want to enable delta force so go ahead and look for delta force Okay, it is enabled both on public and private. So if it's not enabled, you can just enable it, you know, and then you want to allow the app and press OK. Of course, you have to click on change settings and then you can press OK. It's literally that easy and simple, guys. And that is how, you know, you fix the error of the connection issues in a Delta Force timed out error. So if this tutorial was helpful, guys, make sure you hit the like button on the video and subscribe to Tech Problem Solver, and I'll see you in the next one.